guys, welcome to The Fumble. I'm your host, Madison Hill. For more sports news and commentary, make sure you click subscribe. So the internet went off this Saturday after a Twitter user exposed the hell out of Dwight Howard. Expose him! Expose him! Mason Elijah, who at first was thought to have been a transgender woman, but later revealed that he is in fact a male, accused Howard of sexual harassment and threatening his life. He tweeted, I was afraid to speak, but today my life was threatened after I was sexually harassed, threatened, and manipulated by someone I respected. My ex-boyfriend, NBA player Dwight Howard, and his camp also catfished by his disrespectful ass pastor. He went on to claim he met Howard on the set of Wild and Out. He went on to say, quote, we made eye contact, and a week later he was in my DMs. And that's reportedly when their sexual relationship began. He continued with the details saying, quote, conversations started escalating to nudes being sent, escalating to me blowing his mind and him calling me every night on Instagram video chat. Time went by and shit started getting serious. Elijah posted a DM between him and the Washington Wizard Center in which he asks if his friends and family know of his dealing with transgender women and men, at which point Howard ignored the question. Things got bad when Elijah said that Howard was having sex with prostitutes and later called the NBA star out for attending transgender sex parties. This is when things went from bad to worse. Elijah says that after being confronted, Howard Howard allegedly threatened him. He claims he then got a private call and one of Howard's employees, specifically a man named Calvin, who apparently said homophobic threats because Elijah denied the alleged hush money that he was offered. At this point, the internet was going wild. Of course, many people doing the easiest thing and making fun of Dwight Howard, while others made it clear that it isn't fair to come for Howard just because he might be gay. Allie tweeted, the breaking news about this should be that Dwight Howard, a man in a position of power, harassed and stalked this person, not that he's into transgender people. People. While another added, nah, I'm logging off. Tonight is not the night for me to witness y'all disregard this real ass threat to her life because Dwight Howard wants to keep a secret. This is how women die in silence because we scream for help. It's a fucking joke. Trash. After the initial report for Elijah came out, many stepped in to call him out for being a liar as he allegedly made a similar claim that turned out to be a lie just last year when he went on another Twitter rant accusing rapper Playboy Cardi of being gay. Howard is yet to speak on these claims. Let me know what you guys think of this sticky situation in the comments below. Is his accuser just an internet troll? Let me know. And don't forget to like this video, click subscribe, and shop the Fumble store for the latest game day gear. I'm your host Madison Hill for the Fumble, and I'll see you guys soon.